here we are outside again still and it's just before sunset and Kathy's still over there weeding the garden and I'm fixing to uh, <clears throat> take a peek at the, the worm bin here and uh, see if I can see you guys and see what they're doing in here. Tip it down just a bit there and see what's going on in here. See the stuff is decomposing and stuff, and the guys are doing their job there. Yeah, there's a worm wiggling around there. There he is. He told you there they are. There he goes. Doesn't like the light. He's trying to hide. There he goes. <laughs> so, looks like they're munching away. And... What? Come show them our lights. Yeah, hold on. <clears throat> but anyway, they're they, as you can see, they're doing their their job and they're eating their way home and turning it into some nice compost. And uh, while I've got the camera going. Walk over here just a second and show our our Valentine lights are working. Our little Valentine lights there. As like I said, it's just about sunset and our, our little lights are starting to go and the ladybug is spinning too and show them how our our Lily's little tail is going back and forth and show them the that our corn is growing and mm -hmm. the garden's growing and we're getting the, the beans are flowering so yeah we should have some beans here pretty soon. Yep, and like I said, in case you couldn't quite hear what she said, you know, our, our garden is growing pretty good over in this section here. The corn and the beans and the peppers and all this stuff, so it's going pretty good. And I think Kathy wants to borrow the, the phone. Good evening. I'll let you hold it, honey. Oh, Can you get me in it? Um, right. <laughs> bright lights! <laughs> the flash is on. Sorry. I, I want to do a little segment called um, Storytelling with Miss Kathy. I usually tell, tell us it is a church story, but it's a true story. Um, it's a beautiful evening tonight, and um, shout out to London Worms, because he'll get a kick out of this one. Uh, my husband and I have been married many years, nine, almost nine this year, and I'm a, I'm a Yankee. He'll disagree with you if you can <laughs> see his face, he'd be like, no, but I'm a Yankee. I'm a northern girl, born and bred, and we got married up north. And my church family, bless their hearts, and other family members thinking, being Yankees and northern people, they gave us, and in, in, in the wintertime, it gets snow and deep and cold, so they all gave me either a crocheted blanket or quilts, you name it, a thick blanket of some sort. And we end up in moving down here to Florida. It's hot. We don't need blankets. So in the corner of our bedroom, we have this big, huge stack of comforters and quilts and afghans that were crocheted, etc. Well, the first New Year, I was wearing sleeves like this in December. My husband and I picked up my husband from work and his co-worker was wearing a parka in Florida. And it was only 50 degrees and I'm just shaking my head going, honey, I think this is, he's crazy. Is there something wrong? It's hot. And he's like, Honey, it's Florida. It's 50. It's chilly. I'm like, okay. Well, New Year's Eve that year, it got, it did. It get little, got a little nippy. And I said, honey, I'm a Yankee. We, we Yankee people, we just cover up. And so I said, go over to the corner in the, of the, of the, uh, where all the blankets are, honey, and pick up that nice com comforter that so and so gave us. And he's like, okay. I crawled into bed. He went and got the comforter. I'm gonna use my glove as the blanket to pretend. And he got the comforter, and I was tucked into bed. Remember, I was tucked into bed. He shook that blanket like this, and I mean, he shook it like this, and all of a sudden, this lizard just came flying out, and it flew, and as it flew, it schmucked me right here. And let me tell you, I let out a scream. My husband will tell you, he's still deaf in the one ear, but we had a Springer Spaniel at the time. And she jumped on the bed, and she looked at me, and she looked at my husband, and she looked back at me, and she looked at my husband, and went, 
what did you do to mom? And he's like, honey, honey, you got to calm down. You got to stop screaming. She's going to bite me. And I'm like, he goes, put it on Facebook. They'll think it's funny. They'll think it's funny. It'll help you calm down. So I'm like, okay, go get the, go get the laptop. So he goes and gets the laptop. And all of a sudden we hear, knock, knock, knock. And my husband and I looked at each other and went, oh no. The neighbors called the police. Knock, 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 knock. And he gets dressed real quick and he goes to answer the door. And it was a church member bringing us over some uh, sparkling grape juice to bring in the new year because they saw the lights on. Had only that person knew that it was because I had screamed my bloody head off because the lizard had schmucked me right here. And I said, I can't go to bed, honey. You get the lizard, you get the lizard. And my husband rolled over the bed and I said, did you get him, did you get him, get him, get him, get him. And he turns up to me and he says, I can't. I said, what do you mean you can't get the lizard? Why can't you get the lizard? Cause he's looking at me. I'm like, get the lizard. Um, unfortunately, I have to say that we never did find the lizard. He either ran away or he died underneath the bed and my husband vacuumed him up later. That's the end of the story. That's the true story and that's what I'm sticking to. So I hope you enjoyed the little segment of Storytelling with Miss Kathy. Have a great evening. God bless. Bye-bye.